yes and the final thing is then DHCP dynamic uh, range from uh, IP address 10.1540.142.150 and uh, the next table is network uh, oh, just closed I need to check it is restarting frequently <coughs> and uh, now I will uh, give the instruction about how to create the uh, DNS and DHCP server so for that case uh, stable and network stable is enough and, and uh, cat etc hosters we need to uh, add we need to add the entry using uh, script I add the script with the for loop yeah this is my for loop using this for loop I generate the etc hosters file for 10 number of nodes and uh, this and, uh, node ls and I add the node also using node add command uh, using node add command I add the node this etc hosters file node name node01 and node ls xcat object this node zero host name also both should be synchronized or else when we make uh, yeah, make TNS or make DHCP it will conflict between one another so in our case uh, both are same so it will not create any problem and cat etc result.conf uh, we need to add the name server IP meaning etc result.conf our name server IP is 10.1540.111 uh, it will DNS it will look uh, this domain name actually what does this mean uh, search mean we have to specify the local domain name local domain name is uh, uh, cluster.com and the local IP address DNS IP address 10.1540.111 and uh, now I'm making the DHCP iPhone N so it is sorry I am going to make the DNS make DNS iPhone N this it is handling all the nodes and uh, reverse zone is complete updating the zones, completing updating zones, is dot the name service DNS service and update the DNS record and uh, complete updating DNS service the meantime we will check the log file what it is, yeah, it is restarting the service and it is getting replay from the uh, DNS zones uh, you can see from here yeah mm. yeah from here we will see check see here it is updating zones and uh, it is getting the client IP yeah it is getting some response I don't have any clear idea it is updating the zones and getting proper response from the DNS zone so it is resolved and we'll check about their configuration file cd where uh, etc uh, yeah, at etc name dot conf file this is the configuration file for DNS and uh, oh, first we will check whether DNS is working or not so we have 10 host first I am checking host node 08 yeah it is resolving the IP correctly and uh, NS lookup I am trying uh, node 08 yes it is resolving it is not clear okay okay and now I give the same IP now I'm going to resolve from IP address to domain name yes it is resolving in this is node 7 dot uh, cluster dot com okay and quite sorry exit okay it is any dot named status uh, yeah it, this version 9.8 or C red hat and CPU found 8 work with 9 number of zone 19 
and debug level is zero other information yeah anyway name service is running this is support we can verify whether dns is working or not uh, if we remove it is result.con file name server then we'll check how it will react Still no zero one sorry host mode zero one NS lookup uh, node zero one. Anyway, it is working. I hope we need to restart the service. If we restart the service, then it will affect. Uh, but uh, if I restart the service, this session will get closed. So now I will not try. Anyway, I'll uh, show this demo later. And uh, now we'll check the configuration file. Cat etc name dot con file. And <coughs> the first. This is the option directory. In the directory is located sa slash var named, and this is the first zone cluster dot com, and uh, this file is db dot cluster dot com, and the second zone is zero dot one five four dot ten. This is our network, and in address arpa, and this is this file is ten dot db ten dot one five four dot zero. Okay, we'll check now. So var named where named db dot cluster dot com we'll check db dot cluster dot com this mm, where name actually it should have a lot of lines I don't know what is the problem one but I'll check it mm, that uh, what is this actually it should have a lot of values I don't know okay well anyway we'll restart the service then we'll check how it will react okay <laughs> now I'll check db cluster dot com yeah it is updating now in the db dot cluster dot com it will resolve from uh, host to IP address so using a record it is finding host to IP address and uh, this is the information about the host details and this is some configuration options okay and uh, now we'll check then cat db dot ten dot it is resolving from IP address to host name using PTR record this is we are seeing here in this way it is resolving and these are the main configuration file and uh, this is about the DNS and uh, remaining things next we will uh, look on to the DHCP server